What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Platinum walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we actually got to go through the Team Galactic uh, hideout, uh, building, whatever you like to call it, and uh, we found out a few things. They took the emotion Pokemon, they made red chains out of them, they were hurting, we saved them, we beat the crap out of them. Uh, Cyrus, of course, is a huge liar because he has other plans for that supposed world that he wants to create. And, uh, yeah. So now we're in the middle of trying to locate these assholes. Where? Well, in Mount Coronet. And as you probably already already know, Mount Coronet has like about five, I would like to say five entrances, main entrances and all that stuff. And I'm actually going through the main area where you will actually... Uh, or the easiest way you can actually get to uh, the Team Galactic guys. Of course, we'll be grabbing a few items for, along the way, like the Dawn Stone right here. You know, something that we really needed for one of our Pokemon to evolve, which we don't need anymore. Thank you very much. Thank you every single one of you guys who commented on that stuff. Especially the ones who yelled at me. You know, the, the marsh and everything. And now, let's see, well, we're just going to be, yeah, we're just going to be surfing right here. Of course, a few things that you're going to be needing right here in Mount Coronet to get to uh, Team Galactic guys. Surf, Strength, Rock Smash, and Rock Climb. Uh, any areas where you see patches of boulders where you can actually climb, that usually means you'll find Team Galactic guys right around that area. So, let's just go up right here. And, uh, well, as you can see, we are in a new layer of Mount Coronet. And we found ourselves some more items. That's right, Max Repels. You gotta love Max Repels. And then, uh, let's see, we gotta push this boulder too. Yeah. Yeah, make sure to have all your Pokemon with these different kinds of boulders, right? Or th these different kinds of a HMs, because you don't wanna, you don't wanna have the HM Slayers right here. So let's go right ahead and grab this, the Escape Rope. It's always needed. And then, uh, let's see, I, w I wonder if there's any hidden items right here. I want to see. No, not really. Okay, well, one can always guess right there. And, uh, let's see, I think if you make it here before the events of, Mount, of Team Galactic, uh, you'll see different, different kind of areas around here. Now, I'm gonna go through this exit and see what's out. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be snowing, right? No, this is Route 207. We've already been here before. And we are gonna get some of the items, like the Timer Ball. I believe there was a hidden item right here. I want to say there was a hidden item. Let's see. Grab that. And yes, sir, we got ourselves the iron. Huh. Let's see. I want to say there was a hidden item right there, but I, I, don't, I really don't know. Okay. Let's see. Going back in. Let's do this. Alright, so there's more hidden items right here. Strength. And as you can see, there's, uh, let's see, a few layers, or a few areas right here with Pokeballs. So I'm just going to grab them. We find ourselves TM80, Rock Slide, and, uh, uh-huh, uh-huh. That's a good move for any kind of Rock-type Pokemon. Somewhat like, inaccurate, but it's still good. And uh, let's see, there we go, Max Revive. That's always needed too, because uh, trust me, we're in for an adventure, and there's some broken debris right there, so we're gonna go check that out. Apparently, that used to be the uh, tablet of a legendary Pokemon, but Team Galactic went through there, and bam. So here you have Looker, and he's like, observe, as you will. It's a, it's a cave painting, and uh, we're gonna find out what's beyond this whole area right here. These Team Galactic guys are just, you know, they're caught up in the next step. So, yes, we're going to be advancing. He's, like, superior to me. Uh, yada, yada, yada. So we'll be able to catch him. And, uh, yes, he's going to give us the Black Flute. Don't know what that... Okay, why would you give us a Black Flute? Why couldn't you just give us, like, something awesome? Like, I don't know, another Master Ball. Or a laser. Or sharks with frickin' lasers on their head. I don't know. And as you can see, still trying to look for any of these new items. And, uh, well... I'm gonna be going left and right, everywhere. Let's see. Hidden items? Hidden items? No, not right here. And, uh, yes, we grab ourselves a star piece right here. And, uh, yes, make sure to buy a lot of repels. Max repels, more like, a more, most prefer preferably, because it's a long adventure from here all the way up to the top. And as you can see, we look, we're looking at our very first Team Galactic person. So now it is time to go ahead and, uh, beat the crap out of these guys. Let's just beat him up. He's doing the grunt job and he wants to stop all the intruders. Alright, bring it. Just bring it. So here it is. Galactic Grunt wants to fight. Comes out with a stunky. I'm coming out with Starblade. 
Alrighty. Again, this is probably gonna be this is still gonna be my complaint, dude. And that is that yeah, I should be training my Pokemon just a little bit higher. Should be. Don't worry guys, memo is gonna be taken uh, once this whole thing with, with Team Galactic is done. So as you can see, he's throwing toxic at us. Are you serious? Throwing toxic at us. Okay, so we're poisoned, and of course, if you get hit by toxic, it gets worse every single time. Just be aware. And uh, there you go, Aerial Ace for the win. And look at that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. She does not accept it. She does not accept anything at all. That's hilarious. Okay, so let's go ahead and heal up our Starblade. Don't want to get damaged, or don't want to get, uh... Or don't want to have Starblade, uh... Uh, faint while we're running around here. Okay, so let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon. And, uh, well, let's see. Let's move around right here. Talk to this person. And, uh, well, <laughs> it's his time. It's his time. Yeah, it's his time to, to defeat me or to lose. I don't even know. So here he comes out with a Murkrow. Let's bring it out. Come on. Let's go. Gaia number two. And, uh, well. See, oh, we're getting, we're getting hit, we're getting hit. Oh god, here's a shockwave attack. Hopefully for the win right here. Come on. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Will it do it? This Murkrow is not defeated yet. Ah oh, god. And uh, why would you be using assurance? I don't know, but here we go again. Another shockwave. Let's get it. Come on. Say goodbye to Murkrow. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, so let's see, that's that's another one done, and uh, yeah, look at that. Get a lot of experience points, but of course, our Pokemon need to be healed, because, uh, uh, yeah, Gaia number two is getting his ass kicked sometimes. And here we are in the top portion of Mount Coronet. We're in the snowy section of this whole area, and, uh, oh god. One thing I, one thing I never really uh, understood was uh, why, again, I, I, I'm going to complain about this, but why is it hail instead of snow? Shouldn't it have been snow instead of hail? I don't know. Probably because this is an ice type move. Or ice. I don't even know. So let's go right here and uh, use that rock climbing to try and get an all section for here. Now, uh, just just a heads up, guys. I'm not going to every section and visit everything. My sole purpose right here is to get to uh, to the to the very, very top of Mount Coronet to actually, you know, defeat Cyrus and all that stuff. Uh, the next episode, we will be taking on Cyrus and uh, checking out the legendary Pokemon and all that stuff, too. So, as you can see, we found ourselves a blue shard. And, uh, well, let's go right here. Let's go in here. And, uh, well, I'm going to check that out in a little bit because you may never be too sure if you're, you're going you're gonna to try and find something important around here. So, I'm going to go use, uh, let's see, two, two places of interest. Let's go right here first. Alrighty. As you can see, we might find a few items here and there, but I'm going to be using a, a, a max revive or repel. And uh, yes, we did. We found ourselves another star piece, which is always good. And uh, well, let's see. Going back down with the rock climb. Alrighty. Rock climb all the way down. Okay, and uh, let's see. Okay, so we're in another section right here, and I believe this is the wrong area because th there is a waterfall. We don't have waterfall just yet, but we found ourselves another Stardust, which is always nice, you know, because we need that money just to, just in case we need to buy some, you know, full restores, revives, all that stuff. You know, Pokemon League stuff. And uh, let's see. We're already done with this area, so we're just going to be going to the other section that we're going to be... Yeah, the other section that we're just going to be going through. So right here, and as you can see, we're away from the waterfall, and we're just going to be using a rock climb. Let's see what happens. Rock climb all the way up, and we found ourselves another Team Galactic Goon. So let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon. I'm going to go straight to Toothless. This guy right here is uh, looking at me all cockeyed. He's like, our time is coming. A time for us alone... Yeah, he's gonna send me back to the Shadow Realm, like he says. That's impossible. He's not going to send me to the Shadow Realm. So here we go. Galactic Grunk is to coming out with his Hondower, and I'm going with a Toothless. And here we go. Dig attack. Alrighty. Try and hit me, asshole. Let's go. Faint attack. Well, it turns out Faint attack does miss in a dig attack, which is 
hilarious. And there it is, dig attack, does the thing. Alrighty, okay. That's right. That is how you do it. That is how you do it. And, uh, well, Donatello throws to level 47. And now we're going to be taking on Golbat right here. And, uh, we're going to be seeing what's going to go on right now. Hydra number four. How, how will you do? How will you destroy this guy right here? Since you are, like, the number one guy, probably. I don't even know. So, let's see. Maybe a thunder attack, right? Thunder misses! Good God! And, of course, the poison fang. Oh, God. And, yes, we are poisoned. Damn you, Golbat. Ah, uh, okay, okay. All right. I can do this. Thunder. All right, come on. Come on. Just die. Just die. Come on. And, uh, well. Air Cutter just really hurts us. And then, yes, of course, our poison. We're going to get poisoned and all that stuff, too. And, uh, well, here we go again. Thunder attack. Does it twice in a row. And that is how you do it. Say goodbye to Golbat. Alrighty. Okay. And, uh, well, let's see. Alrighty. And, uh, well, we're still getting poisoned, still getting hurt with the poison, so let's go ahead and, uh, well, let's continue on right here, since it is a Hound Hour. Shouldn't be that hard since, you know, I do have a Surf Attack. Don't worry. So here it is. Surf Attack does it. And there goes Hound Hour. Alrighty, okay. And, uh, okay, so that's another Team Galactic person down. There's a lot of them, guys. There are a lot of them. And, uh, well, I really don't want to mess with all of them, but we still have to. Anyway, I'm just gonna, uh, let's see, heal my Pokemon, get everything, uh, situated, because, again, there's, like, 20,000 freaking Hound Hours out there, and all that stuff, and Team Galactic people. I don't even know what I'm talking about. I just want to get, get, get this whole thing over with. And would you look at that, another Team Galactic guy. <laughs> Eventually, you're gonna find out that you know your boss is not that great. So here it is, another Stunky and uh, Toothless about to kick some ass right here. Okay, all right, Toothless, let's go with a Dig Attack. Of course, Dig Attack will do it. And uh, well, Slash doesn't do nothing, but here it is, the Dig Attack. Finish him off. Finish him. Finish him, and yes. No more Stunky. Okay, all right, so that's one. Bring on the other one. Okay, Golbat. Of course, these guys have the same Pokemon over and over again, so no problem. It's just, uh, it gets it, it gets tiresome a lot. It gets very, very tiresome, but hopefully guy on number two will do the trick right here. Destroy him. So here we go. Golbat, and uh, let's go with the Psychic Attack, and of course, Golbat is ensuring that we don't leave. It's all right. It's fine. We don't need to leave. We can just defeat you right here. Psychic attack. And there we go. It takes a lot. And, uh, well, you know what? I think Psychic's doing it again. All right. You know what? Should probably use this again. And, of course, before we can even defeat this guy, he's going to just throw in a Confuse Ray. He's going to throw a Confuse Ray right here. And, uh, yeah, we're just uh, confused and we get hurt. Wow. Yeah, so they they just ran our on our parade, but of course we snap out of that his that little uh, confusion right there, and uh, that's right, Golbat eliminated. Okay, alrighty, that's right. Okay, and uh, well, that's pretty much it for that guy. He's telling me that we're foolish and all that stuff. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Uh, now, okay, so there's the exit, so let's see if that, no, that's not an item, and, uh, well, let's just go right here and just, uh, get out. Of course, there's gonna be more snow, and, uh, oh, look at that, there's an item around here. Where the hell are you? Where is you? Uh, close by. Probably right here. No. It might be under the rock. It might be, I don't know, so let's go ahead and use that rock smash, see what happens. And, uh, let's see. Nothing. Ah, yes. We found ourselves another star piece. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. And, uh, well, Max Rappel is going to be going on right here. And, uh, let's see. There are 
two different... Oh, okay. Another Moonstone. That's always good. Moonstone. And, uh... Let's see. Going downstairs right here. And, uh... Wow, there's a lot of, like, rock climb areas right here. And I do see an entrance right there. But I don't think that's the right entrance to go to. So I'm just gonna go... I'm, I'm probably gonna just skip that and just gonna go right here. And, uh, you know, me with the radar trying to find whatever item I can find. And, uh... Of course, it's strength. Yes. The strength. Okay, and there we go. And, uh, let's see. Where are you? I wonder what's over there on the other side. I really want to know. And so, we're going to go into the entrance right here. And I think we're close to the exit right here. I, I, I could be wrong. Yes, we are close to the exit, but we're going to be battling about six trainers. Annoying! Very, very annoying. Okay. Let's do this. Alrighty. So we got a female Galactic Grunt coming out with her, uh, mm hmm. Her, you know what? Uh, her Hound Dower. But Toothless, we got this. Toothless has got this. Alrighty. Let's get this. Let's get this. Okay. You missed. Let's go with the Dig Attack. Will it do it? Yes, it does. Okay, and, uh, Hound Dower. Done. Over. Yeah, buddy. Okay, excited for that one right there. And, uh, well, Donatello not doing anything at all. And uh, getting a lot of experience points. But here, here's this lady comes out with a Glam Meow. So let's go ahead and just switch out our Pokemon. Show a little bit more love to Gaia number two because, uh, yes, Fighting type Pokemon will defeat it. But hopefully, we won't get defeated by just a, you know, a little pussycat, you know? Alrighty. So here we go. Drain Punch. Will it do it? Can it do it? And it does. Touchdown, Gaia. Of course, we're not playing football, but you know what I mean. And, uh, well, the replenishing of the HP is always good. That's always good. And, uh, yeah, it's <laughs> lady's telling me that it's not supposed to be that way, which is kind of true. So, here we go. Another trainer. Ugh, when will it end? I want to know, when will it end? I don't know. So, here we go. Another Galactic Grunt. Two Pokemon. I'm really liking this. And uh, he's doing the opposite way. Coming out with the Glam Meow first, and then, I don't know, with some other powerhouse Pokemon. If you like to call him powerhouse. I don't know. I really don't know. And there we go. Dragon Claw does it. Pussycat, what's good, Pussycat? Whoa, whoa, whoa. And, uh, well, I'm going to be switching out my Pokemon right here, and uh, see what happens. Let's see what happens with this Golbat. I kind of want to beat it in one turn, but knowing me and my luck against Golbats, or Zubats, or Crobats, yeah, we're going to get confused. We're going to miss. We're probably going to get poisoned. Critical hits are imminent. You know, that kind of stuff. Not trying to be negative, but, you know, that's that's the way it is with these Golbats. And, well, I was kind of wrong about that one right there, because it's using mean luck. Of course, it's ensuring its, it's demise right here, because here we go. Ice Fang for the win. What now? What now? No gold back. And, uh, yeah, buddy. Level 43 Hydra. And, uh, everybody else is, you know, cool and whatnot. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so let's move on right here. And, uh, let's see. I think we're. Yes, we are towards the end. Oh, snap. Okay, so. We got one more trainer to go. And, uh, I, Gaia number two is going to do it. He is going to do this, and he will not fail me. Fail me, I should say. And, uh, this guy is telling me you should be packing me, packing home or something. I don't know. Okay, so, let's do this. He's coming out with the gold bat. What is it with the gold bat? I want to know what the gold bat is. And uh, here we go. Psychic attack. Let's get it. Come on. Go all the way down. Ah, oh, you suck, old bat. But, but, his special defense has gone down, and I guess <laughs> starting off with mean look is always good because, again, like I said, they are ensuring with their mean, they are ensuring that they will not escape. So here we go again, another psychic attack. Alrighty. Okay. That's right. See, that's how you do it. That is how you do it. And uh, he's coming out with a crow gong, so. Let's just take care of this whole thing. With just guy number two. Guy number two is gonna do it. Alright. Let's go. Psychic attack. Does it do it? Will it do it? Will it finish him off? 
Yes, it does. All right, guy number two, you are on a roll. See, I haven't been this proud of guy number two in like quite a few episodes, maybe. I don't even know. So, homeboy is coming out with a Murkrow. I'm feeling like hubris right now. How ballsy I am against a type that might defeat me. And uh, there's that taunt. All right, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. So here we go. Psychic attack. Or shockwave of attack. Man, dyslexia is really bad. And there it is. Shockwave. Will it do it? Can it do it? Oh my god. Murko is not. It's not going down. And I believe it's around this point too, guys. Remember, I pre-record this ahead of time. It was around this time that I realized, and I'm taking advice from your guys' uh, comments, that yes, Gaia number two is not much of a special attacker. It's more of a physical or a, a special attacker. So eventually you'll see me changing it, changing it up with Gaia number two right here. So yeah, I get educated. I listen to you guys. I really do. Anywho, let's see. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and use a rare candy right here and give that to Gaia number two. A little bit more beefed up. It's always good. And uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna stop it right here because in the next episode it's just a buttload of events, guys. Trust me, it's a buttload of events. So stay tuned guys, I'll be back for another episode of Pokemon Platinum.